Shalom Vracha, everybody. This week's parsha is Parshat Korach. Korach, we know, is this guy who was Moses' cousin. First cousin. Korach, it says, was the wealthiest Jew. He found a treasure in Egypt. It says he found the treasure of Joseph. And his wealth is what led him to rebel against Moses. What, what caused it, this rebellion? It says when the Levim were brought to serve in the Mishkan, in the tabernacle, Moses was told it was a one-time thing. He needed to shave all of their body, all of their hair, even their eyebrows. And he did this to Korach also. Korach came, his neighbors see him and say, what happened to you? You look so weird. He said, Moses said, we have to do this. God told him. He comes to his wife. She says, you look ridiculous. Moses told me to do it. She says to him, are you kidding me? He's making a joke out of you. Look, he is the leader. His brother is the high priest. His, his nephews are, are in charge of a lot of other stuff. They're just mobsters, these guys. They're just taking control of everything. So Korach starts to really get jealous, and he starts to lead a rebellion against Moses. He says, I want to be the Kohen Gadol. Why did he think he could be the Kohen Gadol? It says that he had a, a prophecy, a, a little bit of a prophecy. He saw who is his uh, gra- great, great, great grandson going to be. One of his lineage will be Samuel. Samuel, one of the greatest prophets ever, who is on the same level as Moses and Aaron, is going to come out of Korach. So Korach says, nothing bad can happen to me. I'm going to have Samuel. Korach didn't realize that his sons are going to repent, are going to do tshuva, and they are going to sire this line, so to speak, from his sons. They're going to, Samuel's going to come from his sons. Korach's problem was that Korach was going against Shalom. Whenever we go against Shalom, even if we think we have a right cause, we are not going to win. He went against peace. He caused, it says, the Zohar says, not only did he lose what he had, he didn't, he didn't gain what he was looking for, he lost what he had. He basically lost everything. And that's what happens when, God forbid, someone goes against the peace. And a deeper level, it says, the Korach was on the side of gvura, judgment, justice. Aaron is chesed, kindness. Korach thought that we should go in the side of justice all the time. Always need to have pure justice and judgment. The Levim, what was their job? The Korach was a Levi. What was one of their jobs in the temple? They sang. They lifted up people to God through singing. This is like justice, the energy of judgment, that we lift things up. It's like fire. Kohanim are the energy of kindness, that we bring the energy down. The Kohan brings the energy down. Korach thought that everyone should be in this energy of always lifting up and lifting up. But God knows that that's not the way of the world. The way of the world is that we have to bring kindness down. And then we can lift people up. We need the Kohanim. So Korach failed. Korach, he told the people, I'm doing this for you. You think I'm only doing it for myself? Even though he was really only doing it for himself. He wanted to get the whole nation involved. And he got the whole nation to complain about Moses. And he made a big problem. And I think that that's, it's a very practical lesson for our lives. Nowadays, we see that when our nation is warring within itself, our enemies feed off that. And they, really, they see they have a chance to beat us. The more we can bring peace within ourselves and not protest. It's, it's the Arabs see that and they say, you see, they're weak. We can win. There's, there's a crack. So the more peace that we can have within ourselves, the better things are. And peace is the thing that brings all the blessings. It says Hashem didn't find any vessel that brings, holds the blessing like Shalom. And that's this idea that after this whole story of Korah, Hashem tells Moses to tell the 12 tribes, bring me staffs from each tribe that represent each tribe and place them in Mishkan. And whichever staff will blossom, that is the tribe that Hashem is choosing. And Aaron brings a staff for the tribe of Levi. In the morning they come, Aaron's staff has blossomed into an almond blossom, which shows that Hashem is choosing the tribe of Aaron and Levi because they represent peace. Aaron represents peace, the Kohanim represent peace. And these are the people that we want to represent us, the people that truly are representing peace on the true level, that they care about the peace of the entire nation. That's what we need. We need this peace. So Bezor Hashem, may we know peace and blessing and only good for our nation, for the world. Shabbat Shalom, Omevorach.